ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு பர்ஃபெக்ஷன் ஐஏஎஸ் எடிட்டோரியல் அனாலிசிஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் எடிட்டோரியல் அனாலிசிஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த டாபிக் செக்ஷன் சிக்ஸ்டி நைன் ஏ ஆஃப் ஐடி ஆக்ட் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் யூ ஆர் அவேர் அபவுட் செக்ஷன் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் ஏ செக்ஷன் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் ஏ ஆஃப் ஐடி ஆக்ட் பட் ரீசெண்ட்லி செக்ஷன் சிக்ஸ்டி நைன் ஏ ஆஃப் ஐடி ஆக்ட் வாஸ் இன் நியூஸ் திஸ் டாபிக் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் யூபிஎஸ்சி மேட்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் வில் கம் அண்டர் quality and governance topic of gs 2 okay so in this video we will discuss some of the important aspects and some recent judgment related to it act okay so now let us discuss the context of the topic why this topic was in news recently ministry of information technology had received, issued an order to block 138 online betting platform so in india now many online betting platform are emerging and they are targeting youths okay so uh, apart from online this 138 online betting platform government had also issue, issued order to block 94 money lending app so now there were many money lending app available in india these apps were giving small amount of money lending small amount of money to consumers and harassing them using various harmful means so because of this thing ministry of uh, information technology had issued order to block this online bidding as well as money lending app so to this block this app ministry had used section 90 sorry 69a of it act okay so because of this only this topic was in news this decision is based on a recommendation from ministry of home affairs the ministry of home affairs various intelligence department had given intelligence that this app poses threat to india's sovereignty and security so because of because this app were linked to china and contain harmful materials okay so it was against india's sovereignty and integrity so because of this thing only ministry of information technology had issued an order to block this chinese app okay so this is the context of the topic now what were the issue regarding this app so first over the past 3 year several police complaint have been received of extortion and harassment so this lending app was to harassing the people who are taking loan from this app who borrowed small amount through such money lending app often exorbitantly high interest rate so this app were putting high interest rate for the small amount of money and harassing the <coughs> consumer in december 2020 santosh kumar a native of visakhapatnam died suicide alleged allegedly after facing harassment by lending app so if the person is not repaying the money means what they will do the app will take the contact uh, from uh, his uh, mobile and uh, send some misinformation to those contacts okay so it will humiliate and it will affect the reputation of the person who had taken loan from the app okay so by this thing it is harassing the borrowers so because of that santosh kumar a native from shakapatnam died by suicide and in another case the cyber police station of pune had received around 700 complaint of loan app crime in 2020 this number increased to 982 in 2020 the case complaint was only 700 but in 2021 it increased to 928 so as many as 3151 complaint were filed against loan operating app app in august on august it was it, it, it multiple four times okay so because of this thing only ministry of information technology had blocked this lending and gambling apps okay so now we will discuss what is section 69 of it act according to section 69 of it act it allows the government to block online content so online content means it includes app 
any tweets or any facebook post or any such uh, online document so it give central government the power to block any online content which deem threat to india's national security sovereignty public order friendly relationship with foreign state so if any online content violate this thing means central government can block those online content okay so already we had seen this uh, apps lending apps as well as this gambling apps from uh, from china and it poses some threat to india's sovereignty and security so because of this clause only government had blocked this apps the government can issue content blocking order to online intermediaries so once government find some uh, some material which are uh, uh, threat to national security means government can issue a content blocking order to whom to online intermediaries so online intermediaries include internet service provider okay so if you are uh, using some internet service means those company which providing you internet services known as internet service provider so government will provide this content blocking order to intermediary such as internet service provider the telecom service provider the hosting service as well as search engine so once these intermediaries get order from government they will block the content so this is the procedure the content must be considered as necessary and expedite for the reason listed in the section so already we had discussed so if the content was a threat to sovereignty security public order or friendly relationship with foreign country means government can receive uh, issue a content blocking order to online intermediary so once the order is the online intermediaries get the order they will block that content okay so this is the procedure in according to section 69 a of it act the government must record the reason for blocking the content in writing and may direct any agency to monitor intercept or decrypt any information stored in computer resource so government must give a written so must give written complaint and prove that and government should prove particular content is pose, posing threat to india's security so government must give a written order that only it is possible for to possible for it, online intermediaries to block the content so now what's the procedure now ministry of information technology had blocked the app so before that the sole responsibility for blocking online content was ministry of information broadcasting but from 20 2009 it act was amended and power was also given to ministry of information technology okay from 2006 only information technology had got this power the blocking power are derived from it act so in the it act 69 a provided the power to ministry of information technology to block the content the it rule include provision for review committee fair hearing confidentiality and record record maintenance so it elaborately given the uh, procedure for blocking the content okay so now we will see some of the uh, judicial interpretation related to section 66a and section 69a so so both of the section of it act were very very important using this two section only section 66a and section 66 69a government used to block the online content as well as arrest those person who are spreading some misinformation okay so first we will see section 69 66a supreme court in 2015 struck down section 66a of the information technology act in shreya shingal west union of india case so shreya shingal had a, a put a tweet regard tweet and criticized the government action but because of that she was arrested 
and she filed a case in 2015 in supreme court so in that case supreme court stuck down section 66a of it act and supreme court said that section 66a was violate violation of article 19 1a and was not served under article 19 so article 19 1a it give everyone the freedom of speech and expression speech and expression so supreme court said that it violate section 66a of it act violate article 19 1 class a and was not saved under article 19 2 so the article 19 2 provided some reasonable restriction reasonable a restriction to restrict the freedom of speech and expression of the people so according to supreme court the 66a was not included in 192 okay and in the same judgment the petitioner also challenged in section 16 and a of it act but supreme court didn't stuck it down it upheld the validity of section 169a of it act in recently in 2020 2022 twitter sued ministry of information technology in karnataka high court over blocking orders that failed to follow the procedural requirement so ministry of information technology had ordered to a twitter to block some of the tweet so twitter challenged that in karnataka's high court also okay so in that uh, judgment karnataka high court validated the upheld the ministry of information technologies order so this were the some of the major judicial interpretation relating to section 169a of it act now let us discuss some of the previous instance government had used 69a previously to block some of the important applications so in june 29 2020 it had blocked around 59 59 uh, chinese app due to cross border tension between india and china so in uh, 2020 china had infiltrated into india's border and uh, a tussle had created between india and china so to counter that india had blocked 59 chinese app in 2020 then again in september 1 of 2020 18 apps were banned including a famous gaming app pubg then again 49 more apps were banned on november 19 2020 then again on february 14 2022 ministry of home affairs recommended a ban on 54 chinese mobile application due to privacy and security concerns so this is not the first time for past year government had blocked many chinese application because it was uh, it was threat to india's security and sovereignty okay so this is the important things related to section 16 and a of information technology act so that's all for today thanks for watching perfection ias